auto EL3 uh, ellipsometer. It uses uh, helium neon laser and a detector on the right hand side. So these two arms are set at 70 degrees angle. Uh, the system is pretty simple to operate. Follow the instructions in the display. This currently this the system is verified and tested using silicon dioxide on silicon wafers and the auto EL3 uh, this software revision in this one is 308 so I had to I started initializing the machine using reset button So soon after power off, the system will initialize and prompt to up compensate insert, which is slide this aluminum plate up and then press continue. There are motors rotating the analyzer prism on the detector side and the polarizer prism on the source side. So the microprocessor control machine does take some certain few seconds to few minutes before it finishes the calculation of the data. So right now the unit after initial rundown is now asking me to down the compensator which is this button and then press continue our program I'm going to select a program and I'm s the program I'm using is program 210 this program will not only measure the thickness of the film also it measures the refractive index of the substrate so you have to press button E to enter or start the measurement process The system comes with a, a thermal printer and it will print the data such as the program code and delta and psi values and also the refractive index of the lower film or the substrate and the thickness of the upper film. And then also it will display the order thickness, O or D L. The order thickness is the periodically calculated value of the thickness that the system would read without any calibration or calculation to be done. So this is the order thickness the system measure is 2814 using a calculated refractive index of 1.465 which is within the tolerance limit of the instrument and the lower film now the thickness of the film is uh, 1173 angstroms if there is a film the thickness is more than this value the order thickness value then the displayed reading should be added to this. So the formula for calculating the final thickness is n times order thickness plus the displayed value. So where the n is equal to 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on. So this system with the helium neon laser the order thickness is 2825 angstroms so right now I'm going to start another recipe and at this time I'm going to program code 211 and I'm going to press enter now the system prompts me to enter the refractive index of the lower film or the substrate 
which will be 1 D for decimal point and 4, 6, 2 and enter. So the system, the sample holder is very important thing. Uh, in order to align the sample, viewing through the autocollimator viewport, we have to center the bright dot, which is the autocollimation lamp, at the center of the crosshair. So to, cent to center the dot, the bright dot in the circle at the center of the crosshair, you have to use the knobs underneath the stage. There are two on the left and right side. There's one on the left side, one on the right side. And also, there's a knob in the back. So, to compensate for the height variation, the, the quarter tony Allen screw down here under the disc should be loosened and rotate this big wheel to raise or lower the stage. So this sample, uh, which is uh, about 1,155 angstroms, is measured as 1,177 angstroms. So I'm going to repeat the measurement one more time by pressing continue. And now, the standards we are not going to include, are not normally included with the machine. So just for the demonstration purpose, I'm going to test using a 2,228 angstroms Rudolph standard. So once the system height is adjusted while monitoring the laser beam on the polarizer side, the beam should be the beam, the reflected dot should go, should be made sure that it is going through the center of the aperture on the polarizer analyzer or the detector head. This is the detector head. So the beam should be passing through the center of the hole right there. In case if the beam is not passing, then the, with the help of auto collimation and adjusting the height of the stage and tilting mechanism, the dot should be brought back to the center. So I'm going to change the sample and this is a 2,228 angstrom sample. So in case of pattern wafers, uh, care should be taken that the laser beam is exactly at the location where you want to measure the film thickness. There are no repairable parts inside the system, so no attempt should be made to adjust any hardware parts inside the system. So once the measurement is completed, the unit will start to display the thickness So this indicates a thickness of 62 because the beam was reflecting off a surface where there is no film. So I'm going to make sure this time it will hit the surface in the zone. A helium neon laser usually takes about 10 to 15 minutes to stabilize. So after turning on the system, 
the unit should be allowed to warm up before stop proceeding to take any measurements. So now this time it is measuring 2243 as the thickness because I have aligned the beam location where it is hitting the touch surface. So I have a 9470 angstrom sample. I'm going to demonstrate how to measure a very thick sample. So I'm going to place the sample here and start measuring it. <coughs> the refractive index measurement of the sub substrate has to be done only using a film thickness of 1100 angstroms. If the film thickness is different, the system won't be cal calculating the refractive index correctly. The unit will be shipped out with a user's manual and the user's manual usually is exhaustive and it's a generic manual with the details about the operation and service details. No attempt should be made and all the program codes listed in the manual need not necessarily function because of the re revision of the software could be different and the program codes could change. So here a 9470 angstrom sample is displaying a, a film thickness of 1010. So the order thickness is 2825 times 3 which gives me 8475. I add the value 1010 to that value and it comes to 9485. So the readings are with pretty much within the tolerance limits and it measures accurately a very thick film which is almost 10,000 angstroms. Now I'm going to test a 500 angstrom sample so the system could measure films of various other material and the in the manual it is listed certain constant parameters such as the extinction ratio and the refractive index of the film are to be known in order to program the system to measure the unknown values. So this is a 500 angstrom sample and whose thickness is measured as 522. So I'm going to repeat it. And this switch is for the lamp inside the auto collimator. And after alignment, this can be turned off. And the system requires 110 volts AC power.